Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing this nail set here. I found this nail set from Glam Goth on Instagram. In her caption it says it was inspired by Nova Nails. So I'm guessing she started it. I did actually look on her page and I couldn't find them. But I'm also going to credit her because it says that Glam Goth got it from her. But I'm going to add a little bit of a twist to this design. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to figure it as I go. But I seen these and was like, this is a great way to use duck nails. The nails I'll be using are these full cover tips that I got from Amazon. I'll leave them in the description. I do like these, but they're really thin. Most of the duck tips that I've seen are quite thin. These pretty much have like no apex. They are a little bit on the flimsier side too, but this was what I could find and I decided to get it. To get started, I'm going to make the ridges. I don't know how they did it, this is how I'm guessing they did it, but I'm just going to take my nail file and then hold it on here. The circular shape of the drill bit will create the perfect ridge. I'm going to put my drill on a lower speed and kind of round in these edges. So I'm done making the grooves with the e-file. Next I'm going to slightly buff to kind of round in these parts like the part sticking up. I'm going to apply some peel off base coat to my natural nails. I just have a feeling that wearing these over time it's definitely going to snag on stuff because of the rounded edges. So I'm probably just only going to wear this for a day. I'm going to be doing the moss nail design i am super late to it so i might not do a full video i might do it as a short but with those nails i'm like there's no way i'm keeping that on for a full day as soon as i film it i'm probably going to take it off right after i'm going to be using bubble gum gel to adhere my nails So I've applied the nails, next I'm going to go in with this milky white top coat. I got this from Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. I'm probably going to do two to three coats of this, I'll show you how one goes on. So this is three coats of that milky white 
I'm going to be applying some of this glow in the dark top coat. I also got this from Amazon. I might actually do a quick Amazon haul after I'm done doing these nails because I bought a couple of stuff from Amazon and I might as well show it off. But the thing with this top coat is it's not clear so you might not want to use it on specific nail designs but because this is like a milky set i feel like it won't necessarily matter but when you put this in the lamp and take it out it glows green it glows pretty bright in the reviews a lot of people said you have to do like two coats so what i'm going to do is one coat now and then once i've drawn on the eyes i'll do another coat after So I've applied that top coat, it definitely does yellow it, but I'm not too fussed about it because it's still for the most part white, which is okay. I do want this to glow, so I'm going to take that sacrifice, but it doesn't look too bad. So I applied that top coat, I will say it is super bright, I can't wait to show you guys. I did go ahead and draw the ghost on this finger because I wanted to show someone what I was going to do. I'm planning on having them all make different faces. I put some black nail polish in here and I'll be using this dotting tool to make the eyes. So I'm done painting the ghosts. On my thumb, I drew an arm on one holding a little pumpkin Halloween candy basket. I was going to do it on my ring finger, but I just kind of like the seamless look of this. But now I'm going to be top coating it. I think I had said I was going to top coat it again with that glow. And that's only because I read that you should do two coats of it. But I've seen how these glow and they're pretty bright and I don't think I need a second coat. So this is how they're looking. I drew them all with different expressions to kind of level it up. On this one, like I said, I drew the pumpkin basket. But I think I might do these and make these like completely different. Add detail, shading and all that stuff. Let me show you how it looks glowing in the dark. And this is how it's looking in the dark. Here is my thumb. I encourage everyone to get this glow in the dark top coat. Like I said, it does have a little bit of a yellowish tint. But for stuff like this, it shouldn't necessarily matter. Especially if you're putting this over like a black nail set. You won't be able to tell. It's super bright. This again is one coat of that. I will say it looks so much brighter in person. But the fact that you can see these kind of moving around is pretty cool. But if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment and subscribe and thank you guys for watching.